Hey guys, Joe back once again with some OCR FSMQ lessons and today we are starting calculus. So this is differentiation in a nutshell. Uh, so the learning objective is to learn about the gradient function and to find the gradient of a curve at any given point. So uh, to this day we, we think of the gradient of a line as the change in y over change in x. So the height of the triangle divided by the length of the triangle which is you know, fair enough. Uh, if we're given the picture, you can probably do that on grids and stuff, but we're not going to get that in uh, FSMQ, unfortunately. This is very much GCSE maths. Uh, the gradient there would be 8 divided by 4, uh, 2, which is 4, but remember, it's sloping that way, so we stick a minus sign on the front and call it minus 4. That should all be very, very straightforward for you. But that's okay for lines lines because their gradient stays the same along the whole, whole line. The problem comes when we deal with curves like this one which is a classic y equals x squared curve. So there's lots of lines uh, that you can draw as a glance and tangent to the curve which we'll be talking about in a second. And as you can see the gradient, the slope of the line will change at various points along the curve like that. And you know there's a lovely ball <laughs> going uh, under the curve, down the valley, as, as I might call it. Uh, so the best we can do there is draw a glance and line tangent, or a tangent, and measure the triangle underneath it. So, what happens if there was a piece of maths where you could find the gradient anywhere along the curve, as long as you knew its algebraic name, or the equation of the, the curve? Then all of this palaver would be a thing of the past. So drawing points, drawing little triangles, saying, oh, that's a 10, that's a 1.5, so that must be a, a whatever gradient, and likewise there, you know, 8, 3, so it's going to be 8 thirds of a gradient. No. We use differentiation. When this was discovered by uh, the great Isaac Newton, uh, so as long as you have the name of the graph, you can perform a piece of maths known as differentiation or taking the derivative or as you might want to call it the gradient finder. Uh, so to differentiate a piece of algebra when y equals ax to the n then dy by dx equals nax to the n minus 1. So this is the name of your graph here uh, so it could be y equals x squared, y equals 3x squared, anything. This is what we call the gradient finder. It is the rate in change of y over the rate in change of x, I think. Uh, it might not be, <laughs> so don't listen to that. But to y by dx, uh, de left de right um, is the way I like to think of it. And that equals uh, power to the front, not one off the power. So if that was a 3 up there, I'd bring that to the front. It would be 3ax to the 2 because I bring the power to the front and not one off the power. So let's just uh, do a couple of examples. Uh, if you want to have a quick go at that, then pause it and see if you get the right answers. So, but I'm going to be going through them now. Okay, so if you've paused it, I'm back. Um, y equals 3x squared, bring the power to the front, not one off the power. So do y by dx equals 6x. The power 2 drops to power 1. Likewise, with y equals 4x cubed, power to the front, it's going to be 12x squared. So to y by dx equals 12x squared. Power 3 drops to power 2. And you get the idea. It ends up being like that. But when, you, when you've when you got x to the 1, you bring the power to the front. 1 times 7 is 7. x to the 0, anything times 0 is 1. So it just ends up being 7. But you can imagine that as having an x to the 0 there if you want, but it would be very clumsy if you wrote it like that in an exam. So likewise, if we thought of this 9 as a 9x to the 0, like that, then when we bring the power to the front, it'll times the 9 and dissolve it, and dy dx will just equal 0. So constants disappear in this um, type of math. So power 0 drops to nothing. That's something to remember when we, you know, get into the the um, the meaty part of differentiation. So this is an example, typical example of a exam question on the FSMQ. What is the gradient of the curve y equals x squared plus three x minus five at the point 
so there's your, the name of your curve. If we want to differentiate that, we do d left, d right. So d y by d x will be power to the front. So it's going to be 2x power to the front. It's going to be plus 3, and the constant will disappear. So differentiate d y by d x equals 2x plus 3. And then what you want to do there is, you, it, when you're given a point, you want to put that x coordinate through this algebra here to find the gradient at that point. So if we put a 4 in, we get 2 times 4 plus 3, which is a gradient of 11. And that is that. That's all you have to do to find the gradient. <coughs> so here's another example. What is the gradient of the curve y equals 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 9x minus 4 at the point 1, 4? Well, that's the name of a curve. If we want to differentiate, we do d left, d right. So it's going to be dy dx. Uh, equals so power to the front is 6x squared minus uh, power to the front it's going to be 6x power to the front it's going to be 9 and the constant disappears so you get dy by dx equals 6x squared minus 6x plus 9 and remember we'll put x coordinate in so we'll replace all the x's we see with a 1 and we end up with 6 times 1 minus 6 times 1 plus 9 so it's a gradient of 9 and a final example here. What's the gradient of the curve? Y equals that at the point minus 3, minus 17. So it's screaming out lots of double and triple negatives here uh, once we get to the point, uh, get to the end of the um, dy dx. And so as the name of the curve, we want to differentiate. So we do left, do right, dy dx, um, like that. And constant disappears, power to the front, power to the front, power to the front. You end up with that. But we want to put the x-coordinate in, so we want to replace every x we can see with a minus 3. So we'll end up with that, which is 3, minus minus 30, which is going to become a plus 30, minus 3 times 9, which is going to be minus 27. So that equals 6 overall. So that is the gradient of the curve at that point and this is used in uh, tangent theory normal theory um, and also stationary points when we talk about that obviously no I, I won't talk about it now but in a later episode we'll be talking about stationary points so that is the end of that lesson uh, quite a quick one today differentiation is a fairly simple concept you just need to remember power to the front, not one off the power, and you'll be sorted. But differentiation has many, many uses and is the basis to high-level maths. You know, differential equations, um, general motion, which we'll be talking about a little bit later. And, uh, yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful tool uh, to have in maths. And we're very lucky to have it. So, yeah, I hope you guys have found this helpful. If you have, please leave a like down below. Uh, I'll answer any of your questions and there'll obviously be a worksheet as well in the description and yeah i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i shall see you for the next lesson which is tangents and normals with using differentiation so i'll see you guys then bye bye